Hey guys, welcome back to Beet Sweets Farm. I wanted to show you guys the beginning of my fruit forest uh, idea that I had with the area that our ponies and donkey used to be in. The ponies have not um, been picked up yet, hopefully sometime this week, but I decided to go ahead and get started in here and just leave them out to graze in the front yard since we have plenty of grass up there. So I have officially um, gotten them out of here and closed this off so no animals come in here. And I got started on moving some of our orange trees or citrus trees. I'm not sure if they're orange, lemon or lime. My parents actually grew them from seeds a few years ago. So they don't quite remember what they were. But I wanted to show you guys again, this is where we're gonna seal it off to put the male sheep in there. So the actual fruit forest or fruit garden um, is going to start over here. So I got my first little one here. And um, hopefully de these do good because I did transplant them and kind of ruined some of the bigger roots that it had. And I had to do it all by myself for the most part. So hopefully I didn't butcher them too much. But they look fine and I'm trying to take advantage now because it's been raining every afternoon. We've been getting a thunderstorm and I'm trying to take advantage of getting all these trees in here now so they can get that afternoon shower and get well established. So we got this big one over here. This one is taller than me. And then this one is another big one. It's a little bit taller than me, not as tall as the other one. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. I have one more little citrus tree to move. And then I'm going to try to move my papaya trees. I have quite a few um, papaya trees that have kind of popped up randomly in different gardens. And um, like this one, for example, when we start free ranging the sheep, let me zoom in this papaya tree in particular is going to be a problem because the sheep are going to try to eat that so i have a few there i have a few down here you can't see i have a little cluster over here but this is safe inside of the garden the sheep can't get to them so i'm going to keep that there but i have several in other areas of our gardens that i want to move over here so they have more space to grow and expand and like I said before, we have the passion fruit climbing up. Um, we have milkweed. Here's another papaya tree. It kind of got eaten when we had the donkey and the, the ponies in here. Like these near the fence, I gotta move these out of here because they're too close to the fence. Um, I planted birdhouse gourds. I just scattered some seeds along this edge of the fence and along there and along the pig pen just to see what happens um we grew birdhouse grow birdhouse gourds before in another fence line and they did really good so i thought it would be a good idea to plant them along this fence and see if they'll actually cover that and kind of give us like a privacy fence for a little bit so i planted just a few little clusters along this fence. So the idea is for them to climb up here and just continue to grow down. Um, so other than the citrus trees, the papaya trees, birdhouse gourds, passion fruit, um, I'm also going to transplant some banana tree pups. I'll go show you guys. We have quite a few growing off the major banana trees that we have and that is going to be another issue um, with the sheep when I do start free ranging them. So it's a perfect opportunity to transplant those banana pups to a safer area. The ponies they don't seem to mess with the banana trees but the sheep for some reason love to eat any green part of the banana tree. But luckily, these banana trees, the more mature ones, they are tall enough that the sheep can't reach the leaves. But as you can see, they are eating the actual pups. They ate all the leaves off of it. So I'm gonna transplant one, two, 
this one's just gonna have to stay. I might try to take this one out. So four, no, three. Four. And then over here. Five, six, seven. Maybe I'll try to take this one out. That would be eight. And one more down here is nine. So I got nine potential banana trees if they survive the transplant and get established. And let me see. Um, I think another thing I was going to try to transplant is some more pigeon peas. Pigeon pea trees. I've shown you guys in other videos how big they get. They get like way taller than me. They're pretty skinny trees though. They don't take up too much space. But I'll show you guys why I want to transplant some of those into my little fruit far or food forest. So yeah, I just wanted to take advantage of these afternoon showers every day and get everything transplanted now before the showers end and then I'm going to be in charge of watering everything to keep it alive. So this is where I got all those citrus trees. Oh, we do have a, a guava tree. Let me get in the garden and show you. I'm going to transplant a guava tree as well. This guava tree, it's been doing okay here, but I feel like it's too too much shade. It has fruit, and the tree itself has gotten bigger. It just hasn't gotten taller. It has stayed pretty short. So I'm going to try to transplant it. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. But I feel like it would do better in a more sunny area. And the pigeon peas, um, also known as gandules in Spanish, I sprinkled seeds here. These are all going to turn into a tree, but they are way too close to each other. So I'm going to thin them out and transplant some over there. I have more over here. All of these are the same thing. And over here. So you can see why I want to kind of thin them out a little bit and spread them out and supposedly these trees add a lot of nitrogen to the soil as well. So I think it's a good idea to go and transplant them into that sandy area so that it's more nutrients for our fruit trees. Over here I was thinking of moving um, we used to have a fig tree. I think it died. We used to have two fig trees over here. I gotta see if one is, one of them is still alive somewhere. I'll transplant that as well. But we have a citrus tree here that hasn't been doing well. So I'm gonna transplant that one. And then these over here are the cranberry hibiscus or sorrel. We have one, two, three, four that I can see from here. And these get huge as well, so I want to move them to our fruit forest. Look at all the papayas. I want to move the hibiscus to the, the fruit tree area so they can grow as big as we want them to grow and produce more. But that's going to be about it. Um, once I finish transplanting everything, Hopefully I get a chance to finish it today. I finished most of the citrus trees yesterday. I'm thinking of moving this papaya tree too. But if I get to finish, I'll show you guys how everything looks at the end. We have a volunteer papaya that grew right here in the pig pen. I'm not sure if this is a good area for it. When we start free ranging the sheep, the sheep are probably gonna eat all this. We have tomato plants too. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. 
try to transplant as much as I can and then I will show you guys the progress on it and then I hope to continue sharing with you guys um, as everything grows and as our passion fruit vine keeps growing and producing and then maybe the birdhouse gourds I like to show you guys that We just got done transplanting everything we wanted to transplant for today. So I wanted to show you guys. So upon entering, we have a small banana tree here, banana tree pup. We put one of the citrus trees, the last one I had to plant right here. Next to it is the guava tree. And then over here we have some of the hibiscus, one here. One there. I planted, transplanted one of the passion fruit right here in this manure pile right next to the tree so hopefully it climbs up. Then on this side, um, this is a pigeon pea, another pigeon pea, and another pigeon pea, a banana tree one of our papaya transplants, another banana tree, and then kind of in between all the citrus we planted more papayas. So we got one here, one there, and a little tiny one in between those two citrus trees. Banana tree. This is just random eggplant that I decided to put out here. And another banana tree over here. Just watering everything good. Hopefully it rains tonight. But that is the start of our little food forest area. Hopefully it works out. Um, down the line I'd like to plant some more stuff, but I gotta see what is gonna work out out of the stuff we planted today. And um, we have part shade here and full sun over there, so if some of those things end up not working out and we have the space for it, we can replace it with some other crops. Um, just figure out maybe some other trees to plant that produce fruits pretty quickly. Like maybe some berries. We already have blueberries, but maybe blackberries and raspberries. Um, that would be good because we could plant it against the fence and it could grow up the fence. But from what we have, this is what um, we're gonna grow for now and see what happens. I'd love to fill in this whole area with something so that there's food um, everywhere you look. That's the goal. So I'll show you guys the progress on it probably another month or so. And if we decide on planning anything else in the meantime, I will let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.